Hey guys, um, my name is Martha Bragg and I teach fourth grade at West Marion Elementary. Um, today we're going to do a video and I have my family helping me. Um, my youngest daughter, Lainey, and behind the camera, but you'll see her later, is my daughter, Leela. And sometimes our dog, Bella, will be joining in just randomly. She will appear. So today we're talking about... Um, NF1, which is equivalent fractions, okay? So, equivalent means equal, okay? So, when you're looking at fraction, equivalent fractions, you're looking at fa fractions that are equal. So, in fourth grade, we use the denominators 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 100, okay? So, with the equivalent fractions, we're going to be playing hopscotch. But let's review a little bit about equivalent fractions, okay? So, if I take my fraction pieces, and one-third plus one-third is two-thirds. Remember, you add the numerators, but not the denominators, okay? So, I need a, a fraction that is equivalent to two-thirds. So, let me try my sixth. So... These are equal, so 2 6 is equivalent or equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, okay? Now, let's try another one. Let's take my half and let's use tenths because, once again, our denominator is a half, and then I want to use a dom denominator that fourth grade is supposed to know, which is tenths. So, I'm going to see how many tenths it's going to equal need to be to equal one half. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So five tenths is equal to one half. If you said that five tenths was equal to one half, you are correct, okay? Now, let's try a really hard one. Let's see. What is equal to a whole? Okay. Let's try fifths. So I've got one fifth, two fifths. How many fifths do you think it's going to take to equal to one whole? Five. Leela is saying five. So let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. She was right, five halves, so it would look like this. One whole is equal to five fifths, okay? So, we're gonna play hopscotch. So, the way I've always played hopscotch, and the way we're gonna play this hopscotch game is, we are going to have a rock, and we're gonna draw our basic outline on a sidewalk of a hopscotch board. Okay, our little playing mat. You can draw however many you want to. Kind of remember these denominators, though, because you're going to use those. And then, you're going to put fractions in these. You need a rock. This is your starting spot. You get a rock, and you toss it, and it lands in one of these squares. Then Leela is going to hop to that square. Like, this is two feet, one feet, two feet, one feet, two feet. Then whichever one her rock lands in, say it's this one, and her fraction is two-thirds, she's going to make an equivalent fraction with two-thirds, which would be four-six. Remember, equivalent means equal. Whatever you do to the top, the numerator, you have to do to the denominator, okay? So let's let Leela show you how to play this. She's going to go through it two or three times, okay? So, Leela, do you have your rock? Yeah. Okay, Leela, toss your rock. Okay, she's landed on three tenths. Okay, what's the equivalent fraction of three tenths, Leela? Six twentieths. What? Six twentieths. Six twentieths, correct. Okay, do it again, Leela. We're going to say it is all the way into the one hole. Okay, what is a fraction equivalent to one hole? Three thirds. 
three thirds. And one last time. Pick a good one, Leela. Ah. Oh. Four six. What's the equivalent of four six, Leela? Eight twelve. Eight twelve. Good job. Hey guys, get outside and play and have some fun this weekend. It is a beautiful day that out here. Every Friday during this time, we're going to do some fun Friday activities. We're going to, I want to try and get you outside doing math, playing with math. Math doesn't have to be a worksheet. It doesn't have to be on the computer. It can be outside and can be fun. Also, I, one thing I like for, um, to encourage my kids to do in my classroom, I like for you to do puzzles. Board games are great for math skills, just building those spatial senses. Um, but yes, we will be getting outside and practicing some math and just enjoying this weather. We've been so fortunate while we've been out that the weather has been pretty good. So enjoy the warm weather. Spend some time with your family, um, your, your pets, okay? We enjoy being outside with our dog. Um, so have a good weekend. Spend time outside. Practice some math. We've got to use those skills or we lose them. Take care.